everybody. I uh, hope you enjoyed the first part of the video, and now we're going to show you the rest of the trip. Um, it was uh, four days of being on the road by myself. I really didn't enjoy that. I wish Stephanie would have been with me. It would have been a much more enjoyable trip. But here we are in uh, in uh, Texas, and uh, so now I want to show you the rest of the video and critique the uh, Route 66 RV park. We're going to do that first, and uh, then we're going to stop at Treetop RV Park in uh, Childress, Texas, and uh, and then uh, where we're at right now. RV uh, Ranch of Keen. So let's roll it. Good morning, everybody. So this is a. Uh, I'm just starting day three of my travel to Texas. So I'm staying at Route. Excuse me. At yeah, Route 66 RV Park, just outside of Albuquerque, New Mexico. So let's walk around and take a look at this park, and I'll tell you a little bit about what how I feel about it. So we'll give it a little bit of review. So if you're traveling through Albuquerque and you want to stay someplace, I would recommend this park. It's a pretty nice and clean park. So let's take a walk around. You can see I'm starting out in my space. These are all graveled spots. Now one thing that they need to do is they need to level these a little bit better. And you can see my <clears throat> jacks are pretty well extended and the tires are almost off the uh, gravel and I had to move the trailer around a number of times try to find the best spot one of the other issues that they have here is low water pressure but their electric grid is good had a hum 124 volts of electricity And we'll continue to walk around. I'll see if I can do this without catching people's license plate numbers. Do this early in the morning, so. So this is kind of the community center here. They have full laundry facilities. And a restroom with a shower. Take a little peek. I don't know if I can get in here or not. I don't get, didn't get the code, but we'll see if I can. I don't, I don't have the code. It's probably on the sheet that they gave me. But that's all right. All right. So I'd say looks like probably maybe 50 or 60 RV sites. And again, a pretty nice park. Um, no concrete pads. They do have <clears throat> fire pits at some of the larger sites. I think the office is open this morning. Nope, not yet. So I'll go up here and catch it. Now they do have a, our a propane filling station. So if you need propane, there you go. Well, I'm not sure if these are cabins. I believe they are. A little small couple of them. All right. Got the cabin rentals. Here's the RV park sign. 866. Now it's really nice because it's right near the highway and uh, gives you quick on and off access, which is great for somebody like me. I'm on this trip. So I definitely would recommend this park. They have cable TV and long term residents, they have internet access. So it's pretty good. All right. 
We have a nice dog walk park area and uh, playground sets for kids. And I have to assume that uh, it gets pretty cold around here just for the simple fact that uh, <laughs> they have uh, a lot of insulation around the water pipes and so forth. Oh, guys, area for a barbecue. Looks like this is their septic system here.
Um, our current park, RV Rancho Keen, I hope you like the review of that park. Uh, I think the best park we've ever stayed in. Um, and uh, a lot of great amenities here. We're right here next to our laundromat, which is awesome. Uh, they have showers in the laundromat. If I wanted to go over and take a shower, I could. Um, <clears throat> the only thing it doesn't have is propane. I wish they did, but they don't. Uh, but the staff here is awesome. I really enjoy uh, going into the office, uh, either get my mail or pay my rent, whichever. Uh, they're really awesome people in there. So stay at the RV Ranch of Keene when you come into the area of uh, south of Fort Worth near Burleson, Burleson Texas. And uh, just so everybody knows on that last video, I mispronounced Childress, Texas, and I apologize to the folks in Childress. Did not mean to do that. So, um, so far, I really like Texas. Uh, a lot of good people. Uh, everybody that I've met here uh, so far has been extremely friendly. So, and everybody's wondering, why in the heck did we move to Texas? So, uh, the reason why we moved to Texas is I took a job with the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints to help them build the temple in Burleson, Texas, the Fort Worth, Texas Temple. And here's what that look, looks like. Uh, this is what it's going to look like. Uh, really excited about this. Uh, yes, we are members of the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints. If you didn't know that before, you do now. Uh, and if you want to learn a little bit more about why the church builds temples and uh, and what, uh, what we do inside those temples, please let me know. Make some comments down below. I'm happy to respond to you and uh, get you in touch with some missionaries. Uh, to help you know a little bit more about what we do uh, in the church and why we believe what we believe. So we do believe in Jesus Christ, a uh, very strong belief in Him. So I hope that doesn't kill a lot of our subscribers. If it does, then it does. Um, but that's why we moved to, to uh, Texas. Uh, we're really grateful to be here and uh, happy to get this off on the right foot. So don't forget to subscribe, like, and, and hit that bell. Please share our videos with your friends. We're looking forward to it again taking a look at what goes on in Texas, and again, leave us some comments down below of what things we can go and see and do uh, in Texas. So, and that's it for now. See you on the road once we find a home base.